Hi guys, I'm Dr. Andy here in Burlington, North Carolina. Today what I want to do is I want to review some concepts that we discussed a couple of weeks ago called the reset, correct, and reload principles of how we treat our patients here in the office, but kind of connect the dots with, with how, why that works and, and when we start with an injury, how we apply those concepts to make you better, okay? It always starts with, with the reason why you're in pain is we've had some kind of trauma, okay? Now that trauma can either be a macro trauma, macro trauma means big, so think of a car accident, think of like a big time slip or a fall, right? Or we can have a micro trauma. Micro trauma is a repetitive stress injury. Um, think of someone who sits all day working at a computer hunched over, so bad work ergonomics. Think of bad movements during a sport or working out in the gym. That constant bad uh, repetitive stress is going to, over time, overload the body. You're not going to heal properly and you are going to end up in pain. So it works the exact same way as a macro trauma. The difference is that it just takes a lot longer for it to actually start to kick in but we end up in the exact same problem okay um, so what does trauma cause first and foremost it causes a loss of range of motion so we lose our good full range of motion that happens from uh, spasming muscles that can happen from the joints being jammed up we can have um, we call that joint dysfunction or, or you know we can have some adhesions in there in the connective tissue okay so we have a loss of good range of motion that causes pain okay we also have a loss of good stability, right? So the motor control, the muscles that are governing that range of motion, that are governing that area that we've injured, are, are not stabilizing the joints properly, okay? Sometimes that can actually influence your range of motion as well. But either way, we are going to be in pain, okay? So what do we do about that? We do reset, correct, and then reload. So let me show you what that looks like. Reset, reset, is like chiropractic manipulative therapy, like a chiropractic adjustment, manual therapy or massage, dry needling, anything that increases range of motion, right? So we decrease pain when we increase the range of motion, all right? So that takes care of the range of motion issue, all right? We couple it with correct which is corrective exercises, okay? So that is around increasing the stability or those stabilizer muscles, their ability to control the movement, all right? So increase stability and decrease pain, all right? Lastly, when we're able to accomplish this, we, moving on, we move on to reload and reload is about adding stress, adding weight maybe to some of these exercises or whole new exercises that are going to stress and load our areas that are under discomfort so that we can build up some strength, so we can build up resilience so that you don't come back a month later in the exact same problem or with the exact same problem that you started with, all right? So we specifically design a system to take care of our range of motion and stability problems. Reset works on our range of motion problem. Corrective exercises works on our stability problem. And reload works on our long-term goals, being able to prevent the problem from coming back, making you more resilient so that you don't show up in the office every couple of months with the exact same problem. If you wanna change the outcome Right? You have to change the input. And very rarely can we change the environment, maybe uh, where we work or how we work. So we have to change ourselves. Make yourself stronger, more resilient, so that you can change the output and you don't get hurt over and over and over again. All right? So hopefully you found this a, a little bit more informative, how we use reset, correct, and reload to actually fix the problems that come in here in the office. Okay. Um, hopefully you found this information useful. Please share with a friend and always remember to live with passion and not pain.